Roxy Scott here, Oxygen Therapy Consultant, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going in. Uh, we're definitely going in on getting the information out there, um, helping people to, number one, get their questions answered, but also if the question is answered on a, on a war, wider platform, uh, more people can get to the videos than they can, uh, then we can get to, to emails and questions uh, from the individuals. So today we're just going to jump right in. The question is, how long do the initial symptoms of HSV last? Again, how long do the initial symptoms of HSV last? Okay, so let me go over here. I want to let you guys know I'm over here at uh, DrEd.com. Okay, and I first want to talk about the primary infection and first attack. So let me just give you some information here. Most people who get a primary att attack directly following the infection, okay? First of all, let me just stop right here. Let me just stop right here and let me point out to you that this virus is an infection, okay? It's an infection. The, that's what the virus is. It's an organism, a parasite-like organism that enters the body and infects the system, it infects, it's an infection, just like if you were to have a sore or something and it get infected by foreign germs, this is what happens. It's an infection, okay? Again, so let me go ahead. Following the infection experience, experience symptoms within one to two weeks after exposure, okay? So that's what you're looking for. You're looking at a one to two week um, time period after you've been exposed. Okay, and of course, exposure is sexual intercourse, intercourse with an, uh, an infected partner. Okay, this is what's called the incubation period. Okay, this is what's called incubation period. The virus multiplies inside your cells. Okay, understand that this is where the parasite-like activity happens inside your cells. The virus is hosting, multiplying, using the cells resources for food inside your cells until its presence causes an outbreak. Okay, so what? Why would why would the would the virus cause an outbreak? Well, what happens is the virus multiplies, and the body becomes oversaturated, meaning that the immune system can no longer um, actively kill the virus because it's duplicating twice as twice as fast or it's multiplying twice as fast as it can be killed. So the 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 toxin or the infection is now coming outside of the body. It cannot be contained inside the body. So that's what it's talking about there. Okay. Um let's see here. Okay. Outbreaks usually follow the same pattern and beginning with uh, an itching or tingling sensation. Then blisters appear. Yep, sores look like ulcers. Uh, okay, uh, what I want to get to is the first outbreak can last many weeks or take as, uh, take a long time to heal. Okay, so if you're having an outbreak or if you get an outbreak and it's taking a long time to heal and you've just got infected, this is the reason why. Either number one, your immune system has been compromised, or number two, you have just contracted the virus. Okay, following this first episode, the virus becomes dormant again until something, here we go, a lot of people come to me and say they say that the doctor says the virus is dormant. The doctors say the virus is dormant, but you're having outbreaks. Guys, it cannot be one and the same. If you're having outbreaks, Something is triggering a new attack. Something is triggering a new attack. Okay? If you're having outbreaks, something is triggering a new attack and the virus is not dormant. Okay? Now, um, the initial question was how long do the initial symptoms of HSV last? So if they come on within the first uh, week or two, they typically um, will last, they can last from 30 days up to six months, 
the initial system. It really just depends. I mean, the initial out, the initial symptoms. It really just depends on how strong your immune system is. It really depends on if your immune system is going to be able to keep fighting or if your immune system is already compromised, then when the virus comes in and attacks, it is able to weaken, weaken it even more. Okay. Now, let's look at some of the um, signs and symptoms. During the first attack, the early symptoms of genital herpes include the following. Okay. It's not necessarily an outbreak right away. That may not come for uh, with, until one or two weeks in. But initially, what you're going to experience is you're going to experience fevers, flu-like symptoms, nausea, or feeling sick, okay? Let's go back to our picture. See this guy? This is what we're dealing with. Nausea, feeling sick, okay? Let me go back, okay? Muscle aches, painful urination, okay? Sometimes um, um, it may burn when you pee. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Tingling, burning, or itching sensation in the area where the blisters will appear, not have appeared. So if you're experiencing tingling or burning or an itching sensation in a certain area, okay, around the genital area or below the, uh, the, uh, um, the abdomen, okay, this is in the area where blisters will appear. After the initial tingling and itching, one or more clusters are small blister of small blisters. Okay? One or more clusters of small blisters sometimes painfully appear, which are filled with slightly cloudy liquid. The blisters can be located in different areas. Okay, let's even go a little bit further and let's look at this. In men, genital herpes sores can appear inside or on the penis, scrotum growing and thighs, buttocks, and around the anus. Guys, this is all areas that are, are, are below the abdomen. Okay, so you got to realize that it's it if you see an outbreak or if you see blisters or something somewhere other than the penis or the growing, that does not necessarily mean it's not the HSV virus. Because it can anywhere in the lower region. It can, you can have an outbreak. Thighs, you see that? Thighs, buttocks, around the anus, okay? So, in women, these blisters can appear on the libya, inside the vagina, okay? The groin and the thighs, on the buttocks and around the anus, anus okay? So, same thing with women, okay? Same thing with women. So, um... The answer to the question, I hope that kind of delved into um, answering that question. Um, the symptoms can last, last 30. These symptoms that we just talked about, about can last 30 to 60 days, uh, maybe even, I mean, uh, 30 days to six months after you've been infected uh, with the virus. So with that, I'm Obasi Scott, Oxygen Therapy Consultant. I hope this information has helped you. I typically ask you to do three things at the end of each video. Number one is leave a positive comment below. We don't take any negativity, only positive energy in this movement. So please only leave positive comments. Um, um, like your mama used to say, and I'm definitely going to say if you don't have anything nice to say, please do not say it at all. Do not say it on our channel or our videos. Okay? Next thing is join the movement. This is a movement, people. It's not just me. It's not just... Um, other people that are trying to get this information out, but this is a movement of natural um, alternative treatments and uh, remedies for viruses, for uh, sicknesses, for disease. Okay, so hit the subscribe button above. Hit the subscribe button above and let us know uh, that you want to be a part of this movement. Last but not least, we ask you to share this video. Guys, if you know somebody that is going through this right here, if you know somebody that's experiencing um, initial symptoms, please share this video. Post it on the forums, post it on Facebook, post it on uh, Twitter, uh, 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 Instagram, uh, Kick, whatever I, if the social media engine is that, you, that you're using. 
on the forums or whatever, post it. Uh, the best thing that you can do is you can download this video and create your own YouTube channel and repost this video on your YouTube channel. If you do that, please make sure that you do the following. Okay, please make sure that you let me just go to YouTube right quick. Let me just go to YouTube right quick and let me just uh, um, let me see here. No, nah. wrong account. I don't want to say. Uh, it's doing that because I'm. I think I'm signed. I'm signed in under some other account. Sign out. Let me close this. Let me just go to YouTube right quick. Let me show you something. All right. Let me just sign in. All right. Um, let me just go to my channel. Uh, all right. Well, when did this happen? Okay, that's all. Okay, see, see, guys, see, 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 guys. YouTube is they're they're trying to stop the information. That's why you must help us to get this information out there. Let me just go to my video manager. Okay, I'm just gonna go to this video right quick. Oxygen therapy. Okay. Now, what I would like to show you here is I would like to show you if you're going to repost our videos, okay, if you're going to repost our videos, please also copy our description. Please also copy all of this information and post it in your description. That will help people to find um, the information as well. Please help people to, to find the information as well by putting the same description if you repost videos. But that is one of the most powerful ways that you can help us to get these videos out is to repost them on your YouTube channel and get them in front of your audience. Okay? So, again, I hope to see each and every one of you completely happy, completely healed, and completely set free living your life again. I'm Obasi Scott. I'll talk to you soon.